what seems to be clear is that this is a good time to seriously investigate what the role of AI could be and will be in proof assistance, because it's going to take some time before we make it really useful. It's not going to be ready-made. It's not just I drop an LLM on top of a proof assistant and all problems are solved, far from it. And so it's a good time to do it. And so in the bridge project, we kind of wanted to use the advantages that we have in our research group, because we have here in Ljubljana, we have people who are really good at producing lots and lots of mathematical data and organizing it. So, you, you know, they have these large libraries of interesting mathematical objects. And it's a lot of data and it goes into gigabytes easily. And that's a fertile ground for machine learning, first of all. Like just not knowing anything about machine learning. The one thing you do know is that they love data. So if you have lots of data, they're going to come and look at it. And they'll say, oh, what could we do here? So that's one idea that we have is that since we are, we do have already all this mathematical data, we can ask, well, is there, what can we do with it? What can we do with it? And um, the bridge project is trying to, um, it sort of has two components. One is make all this data more easily available for machine learners and proof assistants. By the way, it's also useful for proof assistants for certain kinds of tactics like quick check. 